Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Ennisterstein. I manage chaplaincy services at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. We feel that one of our important tasks at Children's is to uplift special times, special holidays, special observances, and special work that impact our staff and our patients and families. Today we're going to be talking about an observance that happens in June on the 19th. It is called Juneteenth. It is a uniquely African-American observance, and we're going to delve a little bit into the history and meaning of Juneteenth. I feel very, very fortunate that we have two of our staff members here to, to share their knowledge and to share their experience of, uh, of this time. So I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Darren Hammond. I'm a special police officer here at Children's Hospital. I've been here for about four years, and I'm thankful for you guys having me here today. We're delighted to have you. Hi, my name is Ebony Henley. I'm a professional practice specialist for inpatient psychiatry here at Children's National Hospital, and I've been here 20 years, and I'm excited to be here to share with you all today. Thank you, Ebony. Thank you so much. So. I heard about Juneteenth a number of years ago and discovered in sort of the little bit of research I did that it goes back to the end of the Civil War um, and I had not heard about it before so can you bring us up to date on some of the history? Sure I definitely can. So the concept of Juneteenth actually was prefaced by the Emancipation Clock Proclamation, okay. um, which was signed in 19, 1883 by Abe Lincoln, mm -hmm. um, and this was a, actually effective on January 1st of 1883. Okay. So um, during that time, um, all of the slaves, um, with an exception of a group of slaves in Texas, mm -hmm. were emancipated. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't until um, Juneteenth, which was June 19th, 1885 that two years two years later um, almost three that um, the Union soldiers actually arrived in Galveston Texas um, and provided information that the slaves should be emancipated okay. um, so during that time the slaves in Galveston um, developed a celebration which officially emancipated all slaves in the United States um, and for short, this was tight, entitled Juneteenth. Juneteenth, so that's the history. Yes. Yeah. Anything you'd like to add to that? Uh, she said it best, uh, so nothing to add on that part. Okay. So since that time in Galveston, um, how has that uh, observance kind of traveled around the country? How did word get spread? about it? Um, from my experiences, I would say word got spread through um, within the African American community, um, not necessarily within formal education um, in public schools or private school textbooks, but um, through communication um, or organizations or sharing of history um, within the African American community. Okay, so more of an oral history. Yes. An oral tradition. Um, in my experience as well, um, being um, a student in a historically black college or university, um, we were required to take African American history as a requirement for graduation. Mm -hmm. um, so my exposure to that, um, in addition to what I heard during childhood, was during my undergraduate studies. Okay, okay. Sort of the it's same or Sort of the same, my HBCU as well. Um, doing this, uh, we had to do a, a understudy for that as well. And I kind of got a wind of, you know, what the history was, what our, our ties to it is, and what our responsibilities were mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in mm -hmm. trying to educate others and, mm -hmm. and make sure that we're properly educated on our, our history and what it really means to be free mm. uh, as, a, as a culture, as a society. Sure, yeah. Big word, free, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How do families tend to celebrate Juneteenth? What are the practices? So I can say, I don't think there's a celebration, so to speak. Okay. I'm a new father, so my child's three. Uh-huh. And I think going forward is more so teaching him the history, teaching okay. him um, what what it means to be 
an African American in this society and what our ancestors had to go through to even put us in that position that we are right now. Mm -hmm. And and my child's a, a, a little black boy, so yeah. showing him, you know, what we need to do <laughs> to keep moving forward because he's my next, the next generation. Absolutely, right, yeah, thanks. I would also say within the African American community, um, in addition to education, um, the cookout is um, a commemorative event <laughs> oh, um, yes. that we often use to celebrate. Um, it's usually a family event, a time that um, of acknowledgement um, mm -hmm. of the holiday, but also opportunity to spend time with family and friends, um, mm -hmm. and actually um, remember those who have um, gone before and uh, before mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. um, so, in addition to the cookout, um, organizations throughout the the country do take that as an opportunity to educate um, and adding this commemorative event to um, our African American history uh, through acknowledgement. Great. Great. Yes, I noticed that there is an official website, and it's simply www.juneteenth.com. So certainly encourage people who are curious to check that out, uh, and hopefully it's accurate information. One never quite knows when one goes internet surfing, but uh, but we hope so. Um, yeah. So thank you for for those things. What um, what should the white community do about it or not do about it? Um, so I think those are both very profound questions. Mm -hmm. um, I would say um, the same as we do with um, other national holidays, other commemorative events, um, is to first and foremost educate. Okay. Um, and the purpose of that education um, is to um, support the communities um, that you engage in. Mm -hmm. um, within Children's National, we serve a highly um, populated African-American mm -hmm. community um, in, in the D.C. area that we support. Mm -hmm. um, so in order to support the patients and families that we care for, be able to empathize um, with where we have come from as um, from generations prior, um, educating yourself about the event mm -hmm. um, is first and foremost, and I would say um, the purpose of that is to empathize with where we come from. Um, what not to do um, is to um, not make it awkward. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I would say there, um, the, there's a lot of um, talk and a lot of press about um, restaurants and things like that mm -hmm. who have tried their best to commemorate um, Juneteenth, mm -hmm. um, but have unfortunately done it in a way that offends. Um, wow. So asking okay. African Americans um, in your communities that you interact with, um, within your work environment that you interact with, um, your friends, your families um, that you interact with, how they would like to be supported um, would be mm -hmm. very much key um, in addition to education. Okay. And to just not make assumptions. Not make assumptions. Um, and um, unfortunately, there, there could possibly be biases. Um, so there have been, um, unfortunately, um, foods who, that have um, been created or sold um, to commemorate, but unfortunately have been um, seen as offensive because they, they kind of have a stereotype attached. Sure, sure. Um, so I maybe asking the communities that you serve mm -hmm. as well, if you're a business owner, um, asking the community that you, that you serve um, what they would like you to do, if anything. Okay. Because um, we may not want you to do anything at all, exactly. but just acknowledge. Exactly. And empathize, respect. Correct. Okay. Officer Hammond, would you like well, to add something? Well, when, I, when it comes to the workplace, I would say more so, again, respect, mm -hmm. empathize, and most importantly, um, be willing to have an open mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who are not us kind of, well, you're free. <laughs> so why do we need to celebrate it? There's not a why. We celebrate everybody and everything in this country. It's time to open our eyes, have a better understanding, open, you know, open everything for everybody to understand who we are and what we are. Mm -hmm. You know, we celebrate everything. Mm -hmm. Why not celebrate this and just be respectful? Okay. You know? Okay. So um, the federal government has now made it a federal holiday. Um, do either one of you know what was kind of behind that decision? I, um, I would say 
um, Black Lives Matter has brought a lot up to the forefront, um, a lot of communities and, and organizations um, for years have um, requested or advocated for this to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. I think um, the recent events the past few years mm -hmm. um, and how it's impacted the African-American community has actually brought it more to the forefront and, and sped along the process. Okay, okay. I hope I hope those are the right reasons and good reasons for, uh, for bringing it sort of into more public awareness. Yeah. How do you hope um, it will sort of play out in the future. What what would you hope for, the, for a commemoration like this? Um, I would say I hope that it's to a point where we don't. It's a holiday, you know. Everybody, I mean, regardless of the situation, some days I have to work on those holidays. Yeah. I want it to be remembered, mm -hmm. but not to a point where I have to go out my way say it's Juneteenth. You know, you know it's there. We prepare for it. I can be off or I can't be off, you know. Yeah. And we can just celebrate it like another holiday. It's just too many times where, you know, we have to say, oh, it's Juneteenth. And I see a lot of my colleagues or people that I know tense up. So what's, what's that supposed to mean? And what are we supposed to do? And okay. I just need you to, I want it to be another holiday. Just like everything else, you know, okay. I want to celebrate it, but just make it an everyday, you know, a once a year thing like we do with every other holiday. Okay. So another respected American holiday. holiday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ebony, any other? Um, I would say I would like it to be, continue to be validated uh -huh. as an event. Um, and the reason that is, is not because of um, the initial um, cause of the event, but what it symbolizes. Mm -hmm. um, it does symbolize, um, as you saw with this particular event and what led to Juneteenth, that there was a delay um, in support of the African-American community right. just with being freed. Mm -hmm. um, and that has been indicative throughout generations mm -hmm. with Jim Crow laws, housing authority support, um, incarceration. Um, there's been um, a delay in evidence um, of evidence of equality and justice um, throughout the years um, and generations mm -hmm. past. Um, and it started um, as an example with Juneteenth. Okay. Um, so I would okay. like it to be validated um, by all, but also um, as an opportunity of remembrance um, where whenever we think about this day, we think about how we can do better um, with making sure that the African-American community gets the same support at, in the same time um, as all other races. Wow. So I think that is a profound way to to close this to um, to help us to remember to do better to always do better to look toward the future um, in ways that we can truly think of ourselves as one human family 